stand on, uh, you know, Andrew Thomas. Sure. Is he going to be out there and Saquon? Yeah. He kind of... Andrew won't. So, can he you know, practice a little bit individual uh, two days ago? Just wasn't feeling right. Didn't practice him yesterday. Uh, he won't make the game. Uh, Saquon will practice, uh, we'll do a little bit more. We'll see where he's at. Take it right up to game time. Those are our only two people. Um, Everyone else you expect to play, you're saying? I do. Okay. Yep. You, you expect the same uh, front then with the, that you've had with Andrew out, except with Ben coming back? I do. Yeah. Yep. What are you seeing from Aziz this week? He looked like he's, he's like cool. Yeah, he's had, he's had a good week. So he had a good practice yesterday. Um, feels good. Uh, practice well. So unless something happens today, uh, counting on him, counting on him being there. How does his presence help your defense? Yeah, he's a good player for us. Um, you know, we got to get him into those situations where we can utilize his skill set, which you know, does a good job of rushing the passer. But we got to we got to play good team defense, good team football, in order to get to the, some of those situations. Talking to Jerome a minute ago about some of the growing pains maybe with young corners. What's the balance with rookies of being a little patient, but also you have a standard? That's a good question. Um, I'd say any young player start with rookies, but even second year guys, they, they have to play. Uh, and there's gonna be some quote unquote growing pains at times with any young player. Uh, but I think as long as they're improving, you can see it at practice, they, they get some more familiarity in game situations. Um, you know, they're good players, put them into different situations. You know, hopefully the next time they react to a situation, whatever that may be, they learn from it and they're able to execute it uh, the better than the first time that they did it. But um, have a lot of confidence in our young guys. We'll just keep on keep on rolling along with them. As a coach, do you uh, relish a chance to have a long week? I mean, you went from the shortest week you could have just to prepare your team to have that extra time. Yeah, Bob, you know, whatever the weeks are, the weeks are. So you get used to it as a coach being in the league for as long as you do. You, you know, if it's a short week, you get ready a certain way. A long week, uh, you know, you have a couple extra days. But um, each week presents its own challenge. And the most important thing is is doing well, putting together a good plan, going out there, and then playing well. How do you game plan for a guy like Kamal Adams, who's such a difference maker when he plays, but you don't really know what to expect yeah. as far as his role? Yeah, well, you, you, you know, you hope you have a little bit of an idea of, you know, go back when he did play and, you know, the three safeties, but you never really know, Dan. So, um, you know, you adjust on the sideline if you need to do something a little bit different, um, but he's a, he's a heck of a player. Yeah. All good? Yeah. How, how, I mean, do you see value in, I mean, I, I know what we, we know from a coaching staff perspective and also, you know, you name captains and you have your leadership quality sure. there. Is there value in guys who kind of challenge each other in the locker room when you guys aren't there? And just the idea of being able to be a guy who's willing to step up and take that on his on his shoulders. Sure. I think that's what you want in your team. You want, you know, whether you're a captain or not a captain, I think anyone can be a leader. Um, you know, a rookie can be a leader. They're doing their job well and they communicate well. I think John Michael is a good example of that for, for our football team. He does a great job in the offensive line room as a young player and he's only played you know, a few games, um, anyone can be a leader. And I think that you, know, you want player driven leadership on your team, no question about it. It's gonna be your third primetime game basically in four weeks. What do you, what do you make of that? And what have you seen from it? Or what do you take? From yeah, I don't playing you know, in those I, spots. Yeah, I just think you gotta play well uh, in any game in, in this league. So uh, we just play them when they're scheduled and you know, do the best job we can do to prepare. Then ultimately we gotta go out there and you know, coach and play well. Does Monday Night Football mean anything to you? Like the fact that it is a, you know, sort of that prime spot. Yeah, I think it's you know it's obvious you're the, you're the only game. Usually, you know, there's been a couple here the last couple of weeks, but uh, you know for us we gotta we gotta get ready to play a really good team. Uh, we understand when it is. You know I think that's a great opportunity for everybody, but uh, we gotta we gotta do a good job. Walker will like start this way and bounce around you did to guys last sure. year. Like how much do you have to does it to a lot of guys. I know yeah, so a lot how of much teams. you have to drill that into your guys on the backside. Yeah, you gotta practice it, you gotta try to give the best looks you can. You gotta, you know, coach it and you know, he can cut it back at any time, he can bounce it out at any time. A challenging player to defend, so everybody's gotta be gap sound and the run force has to be good. You gotta run to the ball and you gotta wrap the guy up. that with just kind of the player that he is and yeah. having a plan around him. Sure. Um, yeah, you want all your, your best players to be out there, but 
Uh, that's why we have the guys behind them, um, have confidence in those guys. Obviously, no one is Andrew Thomas. We want Josh to be Josh, and we got to do a good job of, um, you know, coaching Josh and and the, and the rest of the guys. But when you miss a, you know, when you're missing a good player, uh, that's the NFL. You got to you got to be ready to go with the next guy up. With Andrew, is this something that's project week to week, or is like I'd say I'd say I'd say week to week, Dan. But whether he'll be ready next week, I mean, it's a. But it's not like you put him on IR. And he's got no, some no, setbacks. no. It just you know he didn't. We went through a, a few little drills, didn't feel right. We took him out right away, and just you know we want to make sure that the, the player's ready to go and um, do the necessary rehab and stuff. So I, I'd say it's week to week. Uh, whether he'll be ready next week, I'm not sure. Uh, really week to week. What do you need to see from Saquon to give him the green light come Monday night? Yeah. Well, we'll see how he looks today. I think he's gotten progressively better and then it's just a you know it's a talk with Saquon where he's at it's a talk with the training staff I think everybody's got to be on the same page and, and again never want to put a guy out there that's not ready to go so but he has gotten better um, I think there's a chance but we'll see where it's at does he have to test with hard cuts he's such a hard runner and yeah and he's he's done some of that out here we'll see we'll get a little bit more today we've only seen him obviously in individual some position stuff has he gotten any team stuff this week yeah we're we're working through that so um you know he's he's what we've asked him to do he's done a good job with and i want to give him the the benefit of the doubt all the way up to as far as we can go what have you seen from josh taking that spot you mentioned obviously stuff to work on and what are you looking for him this week yeah just to do his job um you know it's a obviously a tough position in the nfl but he's gotten better um since we put him in there each day feels comfortable so just go out there and you know perform his responsibilities to the best he can is there such a thing as like give us what you got like oh Saquon can play maybe 15 20 snaps or you have to be able to play your full workload to play yeah I'd say we're just going to let him go today Ryan and, and see where he's at and then we'll, we'll kind of talk about it. no 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 I'm with you such a thing is I think you teach. I think you take each situation different with each player based on the injury how they feel what their roles are the responsibilities each each position is a little bit different.